Hey folks, in this video I'm going to be comparing Blender Performance with these two laptops. On the left it's going to be the M1 Pro 16 inch, and on the right it's going to be the M1 MacBook Air. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so I went to the Blender website and I downloaded some Blender files. The first one that we're going to test is Blender 3.0. It's titled Sprite Fright. I'm going to open them at the same time. And looks like to open the program itself, it took the same amount of time across both laptops. Let's see how long it takes to render the initial part of that scene. Okay, interesting. Looks like the MacBook Air was probably half a second faster. Um, let's give this another shot in case that was an anomaly. Okay, looks like the same thing happened. The MacBook Air is slightly faster in um, getting to at least that preview page for this scene. And then this sped through part is just me showing a third try and the same result happened. Alright, let's, let's move on. Looks like there is a execution of a Python file to begin with. Let's see how the performance of that is across the two laptops. Okay, looks like the MacBook Pro, or the M1 Pro, is two seconds faster for that initial screen. Um, Alright, let's see how smooth um, the rotating and kind of looking around is on Blender. So I'm going to just show how smooth it is on the M1 Pro, and as well as on the M1 MacBook Air. And yeah, let's see how that compares side by side. I'm not a regular Blender user, so I can't really tell the difference. Um, both looks like to be the same level of responsiveness, and I'm not noticing any lag or drop frames in either computer. So um, the eye test from someone who you know does not use Blender regularly look, makes it look like it's you know equivalent across the two laptops for this. All right, let's see how rendering perform. So let's start with rendering an image. So let's do that at the same time. And there we go. So again, here I'm just showing relative speed. I will render the full animation after this where you can actually spot the difference here. I just want to give you guys or you all a, like a visual sense of you know what is faster so it looks like obviously the m1 pro is probably like two times faster um let's do that with animation so i'm going to start the animation here it's actually going to take probably over 20 minutes so i only got halfway through um, i'll zoom in on some of the numbers uh, i think there's some good metrics to use here on the top left there's uh, estimated time remaining um, and then there's also the number of uh, tiles that are rendered so we that can also give us a pretty good sense of like the progress made so I'm gonna fast forward until I zoom in all right let's zoom in so on the right looks like there's 25 minutes reading and there's around 70 tiles that are rendered here on the left there's 164 tiles um, so it looks to be around a little bit over two times faster uh, compared to the M1 MacBook Air. Okay, so I'm going to speed through this a little bit as I pull up the memory usage and CPU usage. So let me just do that for both laptops. All right, so on the right, Looks like the CPU cores, the data is coming in. Um, and then on the left, let's open that as well. 
So on the left, there's 10 cores. Um, this is, yeah, that, that's, that's the main difference between these two laptops is there's a lot more CPU cores on the left and there's a lot more, or there's two more CPU cores on the left and there's um, 16 GPU cores, so that, instead of eight. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of the utilization there. Um, I'm gonna be zooming in now, so I'll just show you, looks like the cores are fully utilized and that blender is around 13 and a half gigabytes of RAM. And that's, you know, it's definitely close to getting maxed out. And then the left, same thing. All the cores are being used and blender is around 11 um, gigabytes on the left. So a uh, slight difference in RAM. I'm going to show you the title. So there's 460 tiles on the left and around half of that uh, for the MacBook Air. Uh, so yeah, there we go. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit as I fast forward through this. So on the left, so this is the M1 Pro. You can see that there's around 11, maybe 12 minutes. Yeah, there's 12 minutes raining. Okay, before this completes. And on the MacBook Air, there's 23 minutes, so yeah. Roughly the MacBook Air is a little, it's two times slower than the M1 Pro. All right, that concludes this video. Um, based on my conclusions, if you are using Blender and you want to render some scenes, um, at least in this one program that I tested, the M1 Pro chip was two times faster in terms of rendering a scene than the M1 MacBook Air. Um, it's up to you to decide whether that 2x performance is worth, you know, probably 2x the cost. Um, all right, if there's any more content you'd like to see, please leave a comment. I'll be doing more of these uh, comparison videos between these two laptops. And yeah, there'll be more Blender stuff to come. There'll be more, um, you know, benchmarking and other kinds of comparisons. So please subscribe and you'll get updates uh, as these videos come out. Thank you very much.